We have breaking news at this hour. A pursuit of a shooting suspect and Desmond Shaw is live in Sky Caldez or in the Vermont Square area. Yes, uh, Pat, kind of close to West Adams, just west of USC here as this vehicle comes towards us, a silver Mercedes uh, and three people inside, a shooting suspect, and they threw something out of the window, which may have been a weapon, and uh, some residents actually who lived nearby were able to recover that, and LA County Sheriff's deputies are going to be uh, coming to talk to them and, and acquire whatever it was that suspects threw out the window. Now, this car has already gotten in two different crashes mm. and continues, and you can see it's starting to have some trouble. Smoke coming out of... Uh, Looks like out of the wheel well, out of the driver's side front wheel well, so maybe losing a tire right here. Haven't heard about spike strips or anything, but that was most likely because of the two crashes uh, that that vehicle got in. Perhaps not very serious crashes as the vehicle is able to continue. I think this is a uh, C-Class or an S-Class Mercedes. Northbound now on Dalton, three in the vehicle. So, you know, one weapon allegedly thrown from the vehicle. They don't know if there's any others in the car, so they're still gonna treat this one kind of gingerly, but uh, two crashes, driving pretty crazy, blasting through the stop sign right there. We'll see how much longer they can continue here, Pat. Okay, uh, Des, I think Mike has some more information on, on this pursuit, the crash, the suspects. Yeah. So we've had two crashes, as Des mentioned, 75th and Central, and at 75th and Central, uh, officers were actually injured in that situation. The officers crashed as well as the suspect. Uh, rescue ambulance have been requested for those two officers. We are currently working to get a condition uh, on those officers, but they didn't need an ambulance at least. Uh, the item, the gun, was tossed at Gage and Hoover, and then they crashed again at Western and Slauson, uh, and then continued back eastbound on Slauson. That's where Desmond is picking them up right now as we get into the Exposition Park area. We are working on getting some information about the actual shooting. I can tell you that gang unit is involved in this. Mm. Uh, there are two gang unit cars in this, as well as the supervisor for the pursuit is a gang unit supervisor. So possibly that that's got something to do with it, but that's where we're at right now. Okay, and this probably happened in South LA. I mean, started in South LA. Yeah, these are city. Newton. Uh, yeah, Newton. It looks like the airship picked it up first around like 77th, oh. 78th uh, and Central. Uh, in that kind of area, so it is South LA, and then they worked their way uh, westbound across wow. the 110 freeway, and then up into the Exhibition Park area where we are now, uh, and uh, right around kind of the USC area. Okay, you know, guys, I do have a question just in terms of the, the crash where the officers were involved. We, do we know if the suspect crashed into the officers or if the officers crashed into another vehicle or something else? It sounds like, and we're working to get some of those details, but it sounds like that the suspect was at least partially involved. I don't know if it was a full-on suspect crashing into the officer's patrol car or if the officers uh, were slightly crashed into him and then they hit something else or what the circumstances are. We're working to get some of that information, but it at least sounded like the crash on the officer's side was serious enough that it may have disabled their patrol vehicle and that they needed an ambulance. Okay, let's get back up to Des and Des. This is uh, looks like a residential neighborhood. They're going down some streets where it pretty look narrow, at least parking on both sides of the street. Turning here, it's almost as if they may know where they're going. Well, we'll see. I mean, they've kind of been circling around this area, these narrow residential streets, maybe just trying to get as much distance as they can from officers before, you know, they get out and run. And there are three of them. Uh, so LAPD needs to be ready to, you know, possibly split up in, in different directions. The airship won't be able to uh, handle all three of them if they get out and run and they get out and scatter. Uh, but it, I saw the damage there to the wheel well on the drive, the front driver's side there. And it looks like like the, like the fender and some sparks coming out there as they take those dips just a little too fast. They uh, might be kind of bent in, bent, bent inward and making contact with the tire. And I think that's what's causing the smoking uh, that we're seeing. So I think the tire is still okay for now, but we'll see if that continues to be the case as this pursuit goes on. But some very narrow streets here, you know, 40, mm -hmm. 50 miles an hour on these narrow, dark streets in South LA. Definitely a pretty Whoa. dangerous one for folks just out here trying to get on with their Monday night as we uh, back out onto Western southbound. Not great news for us here because as you can see, maybe getting a little farther away from us here, this is the edge of LAX airspace uh, around the, the South LA area. So uh, that was actually the first that they had come towards us. This had been primarily down around like 70th, 80th street is where we had heard. Came back up as you saw into the 40s and now we're back in the 50s and continuing to go back south deeper into that restricted airspace here. But yeah, three people in the car and the, the, the vehicle continuing, having a little bit of trouble, but already gotten in a couple of crashes. Fortunately for them, they were pretty minor, 
but when you see him, you know, blowing through lights and stuff like this, boy, one miscalculation and uh, this could go south really fast. No question about that. And the and the other factor too are the officers that were injured. I mean, yep. they sent an ambulance to to see about them. This just really heightens this situation. I see they're right on their tail. LAPD certainly not letting go yeah. of this this chase. And, and they won't because of the want. Because these are alleged mm -hmm. shooting suspects, we will not go into uh, tracking. Oh. Okay. There we go. Suddenly stopping. But not running. And LAPD right there. Let's Door bell open. just like that. Wow. And <laughs> so is is this really going to be it here off of Manhattan and 52nd Street? I mean, sometimes we see these pursuits get really crazy and then they end very abruptly and. I don't know if they were just all kind of going over the scenarios in their head or what uh, inside the vehicle, but they decided they've had enough. Maybe this vehicle is about to overheat or or something, and they knew that, that the jig is up, and so they are now out, suddenly slamming on the brakes. One set of hands out the window, other hands hanging out the window on the passenger side and in the rear. LAPD is going to start issuing commands, first to the driver, and then uh, for the two passengers. So we, all of a sudden, this might be ending uh, abruptly. Well, gosh, a lot of charges here, too, guys. I mean, what, do we know if this was a stolen vehicle or not? not it was, a stolen no, vehicle. yeah. It was, sorry, I was getting an update on the crash. Uh, not a stolen vehicle that we are aware of. Uh, and I just want to give you a quick update from the fire department. They tell us the, the scene at the crash is calm, doesn't seem very hectic, sounds like the, the officers are just getting kind of checked out. Oh, that's good to hear that hopefully no serious injuries yeah. reported there. So uh, Desmond, as you said, well, the driver is now, I think he's turned around with his hands yes, up. Yes, uh, this is exactly what LAPD wants to see here with the, their back turned and uh, the hands up. So they will probably be instructed to just kind of go up, uh, maybe right up into this area and then, you know, get down on their stomach. You can see the other two complying as well. But, you know, quite a bit of smoke coming from this vehicle. I mean, when you have so much heat being generated if, if that fender flare got kind of pushed in on the other side, which is what I suspected happened. You know, you could uh, potentially catch the tire on fire uh, at some point, and that could, you know, turn into a very out of control situation very fast. So, you know, obviously it should have been running anyway, but all things considered, they, they certainly stopped uh, at a better time than they could have if they would have, you know, continued to flee. And uh, whatever crashes they got into seem to be pretty minor. Good to hear that those officers are probably going to be okay. So all things considered, especially with the type of driving that we saw, this could have ended much, much worse than it did here on Manhattan Place and 52nd. Uh, just still probably calling out commands and are they're definitely taking their time with this one, though. So yeah, they're going to want uh, they're going to want the driver shortly. They want them to get out individually, yeah. right? Obviously, they'll have eyes on them. Well, the driver yeah. is walking back now. And we suspected that a weapon was thrown out of the window. Do we have confirmation on that? It, it does sound like they went back and had somebody go try to retrieve that item. So it sounds like LAPD may have located that. Now, that is sometimes why these guys give up, right? If they think they got the gun out of the car, then why keep running? Mm -hmm. um, but LAPD is not going to take that chance. Obviously, if they're shooting suspects and they've already recovered at least one gun, uh, there's obviously a concern that there's another one in. That's you know probably why they're kind of taking this a little bit more gingerly, getting that guy as far away from the car as, as really they, they can so that there's no risk of him, you know, kind of trying to bolt back to the car. I was gonna, that was my next question. He seemed to walk away from the car, but he's still walking backwards, which yeah. is apparently what they want him to do. They are giving him commands to do that. So will they cuff him first before they have the other two get out? Yeah, I would, I would, I would imagine that they will take one into custody, pull him back. They're, they're, what they're doing down there is forming arrest teams. So you'll have those frontline officers right there at that, uh, at that uh, Ford Explorer that will continue to keep their guns trained on the car, and then they'll bring in a secondary arrest team that will start to bring in uh, handcuffs. Well, they got one. Yep. The driver is in cuffs and led away. So and now we're waiting, the passenger, on, yeah. waiting on the other two. So Desmond, this looks like a passenger here in the front. Yep, front passenger right here out and, uh, you know, going much more quickly here. So that was the holdup. They probably needed to explain to the driver that they wanted to walk over here to the sidewalk to be away from potential, you know, gunfire. Just kind of thinking about every possible scenario when you're trying to de-escalate a situation like this. So that's two out of three believed to be three uh, in the vehicle and that we saw the, the three sets of, of hands there and then the one right here, the final one, uh, which they may uh, will probably instruct to do the exact same thing just in case, you know, there, there's another person hiding in the car again, just just so much uh, so much precaution taken with these okay. uh, situations. But yeah, uh, the he's third out. suspect and 
and he's now out, and uh, this should be it. And once they come in and clear the car, make sure that there wasn't anyone else in the car, we should see four fingers indicating a code four all clear. All right, well, Desmond, we are going to um, move on to other news as it appears that uh, they will have all three of these uh, suspects in this pursuit in custody, the last one very shortly. All right, thanks for that, Desmond Shaw, Mike Rogers. In other news,